Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Just a reminder, we are playing on a legendary Iron Man difficulty. Well, I guess it's a legend Iron Man difficulty, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. It's been a been bit of a challenge so far. It's been exciting. Um, got a covert action coming up in four days, some alien debris in four days, and sharpshooter training in six days. That's about it for what's coming up soon. So let's get back to the map and see what's going on. Did we open up another encounter? Yes, we did. New Mexico. Hack the workstation on Advent Train, and we will get a Sharpshooter Corporal, and counter the collateral damage uh, Dark Event, where they carry more explosives. That sounds like a really good one to counter, so let's get in there. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. All right, who do we want to take with us? Well, I think if Outrider is good to go, we'll definitely take her. Um, is your buddy back from, from being sick? Not yet, is she? Oh, wait a minute. Well, you're not the one that has the, the buddy. Let's um, remove you for just a second. Nope, still, still injured over here. Got a couple people that are tired. Could still bring them. Um, like Cyber over here. I mean, having our Sergeant um, Outrider is obviously good. And some squatties and then um, a couple, uh, I guess everybody's squatties that we're taking. Okay, never mind. That's, that's going to be good. Man, we need some more rookies. Um, so I want to take one of these other guys that's tired. Tempting. Rose here, three days. Doreen Murphy, who is oh way up there, and then I'm thinking of just taking taking Cyber with us, just to fill in the gap with some more like good people. Um, so we'll take Cyber. He's a bit tired, but I mean he'll live, and then we'll take Outrider. And then I guess squatties everywhere else. So a squatty grenadier, I think is great. A squatty, oh, that's a lot of uh, specialists. So let's go ahead and remove you. Let's take um, take a sharpshooter. And you know what? Let's remove you and take another grenadier. I think. I think that will be just fine. Pair of grenadiers couple like sharpshooter type people and then our Mr. Cyber here who's kind of a leading the charge for us. Okay, I like it. Um, as far as um, grenades and things you currently have what is this one? That's the flashbang, okay. Well, that's um, you know what, let's actually give you the smoke grenade. And you can take the flash bling. That's not what I want. I uh, mean to go back twice. Right, no, you're taking the flash bling. Or what just happened? You have the smoke grenade currently, which is fine. Why do I not have? Oh, that's not the same guy. Oh, I was like, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. Why did it replace you? Oh, because this guy's tired. It's like, no, you don't want to take the tired guy. Okay, no, we're good there. And we got still got four regular grenades, plus her um, um, amazing claymore, which is just awesome. No, this is good. Let's go. Let's do this with this one. Dr. Tigan has picked up indications of an exposed access point along the Advent network near here. And we may be able to use it to recover data crucial to the alien's latest project. As always, there's a catch. The terminal is on board one of their transport trains passing through the area. We'll need to move in quickly, secure the train, and eliminate any hostiles. If we can do that, 
We might just get a shot at stopping their progress. All right, good stuff. Um, this is going to be a timed mission, presumably. So these are usually pretty tough. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. I will say one good thing is that we do have these guys that, uh, or at least especially uh, Outrider here, who can stay stealthed up and like really do some advance. Um, scouting for us. Already? Wow, nice. DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. So we're still concealed. Guess we'll double move you up this way. Um, how about you come over this direction? Already there. And you need to get you set up somewhere where I can't imagine this is like a hide advantage here. It would be nice if it was. So I think we just double move you up somewhere up here as well. And last but not least, you. Can't quite get you to cover that direction. Let's get you over here. Oh, so the timer hasn't started yet. Interesting. We don't have... I, I totally didn't see the, the sit rep stuff. Do we have a sit rep that... I think I remember reading one that, that doesn't start the timers until you break concealment or something like that. Is, is, that, is that what we have? I totally missed uh, looking at that part when we started the thing. Um, oh, you can move up really close. Presumably you could drop a claymore here and clear out all these guys with one claymore. Which may be what we want to do. Um, I think moving you... Here is fine. That patrol is coming. All right, another patrol. There's a bunch of civilians there, unfortunately. How many people are in this one? I just see two. So if we claim more anything, this is the one we want to claim more. And we can't get all of them in it, so. Say we go ahead and drop it. No, let's wait. Let's wait till we get everybody else in somewhere. All right, you can move up to here just fine. It's not really any good high cover for you, unfortunately. I mean, I can move you over to this direction, I suppose. This should be fine, though. That's affirmative. All right, you. Could get up into some high cover. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, Sniper, you're actually pretty good where you're at. I mean, some okay shots where you're at. But, I mean, we're going to have to move you up at some point. So we might as well move you up now since I don't know that we're going to start this off right this second. If we don't have a timer yet, I think I want to keep getting people a little bit closer to the objective. And you, since you're going to be our, probably our hacker person that's going to be doing this stuff anyway, getting up somewhere this direction so you're closer to the object is probably a good idea. Alright, do we... do we move you again? It appears safe. As does this one. Although if these guys move, you're in trouble. Also move you up here, so you're protecting from there, but you might spot some guys over there. Let's move you up again, though. I think it'll be fine. All right, so you're good. You could actually move up as well, although no, that would spot you. How's that? Oh, you're gonna jump over the box. That's why. All right, so you're just gonna stay where you're at. 
You can't really move anymore. You can't really move anymore. That's everybody. Okay, so let's go ahead and overwatch just in case something pops. Uh, you'll be fine overwatching with the pistol. Tempted to just leave you and do the claymore next turn. I mean, I can move you all the way up here. I can go ahead and start the claymore now. I got a few overwatches, but I don't have this person on overwatch. So you know what? Let's just leave you where you're at, just in case things move around a little bit. All right, here we go. We got everybody's available. Do I overwatch? It's possible she doesn't even break concealment. You can move up a tiny bit. Have a little bit of a spotting ability. Let's do that. Because basically you're covering this group over here. Okay, you are going to move up as well. That's going to be fine. You're going to stay, I think, where you're at. Although moving you more closer to these guys would potentially be better. But just in case one of these guys makes it through this, let's go ahead and overwatch you. I don't think I'm going to overwatch you. Oh, well, now let's do it. You're going to be able to overwatch with your sniper. And I think that's... Oh, no, you don't have the overwatch um, squad site. Never mind. Nope, nope, nope. So we're just going to leave you be. You can go in overwatch. And you can go in overwatch. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to leave you be. Just in case we need your grenade. Right, that's fine. So now you're going to drop your claymore. Kill all these guys, hopefully in one fell swoop. Soon our prey will fall. And... So there's nothing to remote start. Yeah, okay. So it is... I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I remote started one of these one time, but I guess it was something entirely different. So no, we'll just go ahead and fire this and see what happens. Technically still in concealment, which is strange. I mean, we could easily just pistol shoot this guy, but that would break our concealment. Huh. Okay. Since I think concealment is going to break anyway, I'd rather break it on their turn. So we're going to go ahead and overwatch. With both these guys. And see what happens with concealment now. So that was an easy kill there. But we are going to trigger the other ones. Got an ability point for uh, an ambush. That's awesome. Come on, sniper, sniper, get him, get him, get him. Uh, I mean, you technically got him. Not much. Oh, come on. That is not good. Oh, there were two more in that group. Okay. All right, you're actually still concealed, which is. Awesome. I wish you had another Claymore. That'd be amazing. All right, so the timer did start of the network shutdown now. We're just right next to it, so this this should be good. All right, what kind of good shots? You have nothing. I could blow up some cover somehow. That would open up some stuff for you. So let's grab our Grenadier over here and see about blowing up some cover over here. Can we blow up, like, both things? No, we don't. Plus, we'd be killing a civilian up there, which, you know, it'd be kind of nice to avoid that. All right, let's start with this. Pretty sure the... I don't think this will blow up the thing that's in there. I guess we could stretch it out a little further this way. Just to be safe. Actually, I don't know where that thing is. 
We can also blow up this guy. Now let's just do it here. I think this will be fine. Actually, it should could very well kill him. All right, we just straight up killed him. <laughs> that works. All right. Um, you still have any good shots, but man, if you hit this guy. Sure would make a lot of this easier. So you know what? Let's go ahead and take the shot with her. We still have a, several more options. Okay, that's fine. If she had killed him, that would have just made so much of this other stuff a thousand times easier. But, not the end of the world. Alright, you... I could just move up, grenade that guy, which I may actually be doing. We'll go ahead and move him up a little bit before we do so. And let's just... We can pull up some of your cover just in case this doesn't work. Yep, right there. Should be safe. Well, safe for me, not for him. Right, so cover's gone. You still have a decent shot on him. You have a great shot on him. And you actually have a pretty good shot on him. And presumably you could actually move up Oh, you really? You're going to get spotted that way? That does not help us. But I can move you up here. Yes, I might get spotted, but at least I'll be flanking him. Oh, but that's a double move. Never mind. Uh, 58% shot is not bad, but I can also flashbang him. Take this shot. 50-50 chance I reveal myself. You know, let's do it. Ah, oh, we are not revealed. Good stuff. Um, and I think flashbang that guy is a good idea. Or we could overwatch to make sure he doesn't move. You know, fifty percent, fifty-eight percent is not bad. Ah, let's do it. Okay, that's fine. Probably should have fast banged him, but it's just a single guy. Where's he going? Where's he going? All right, so he missed. So we're good. Because we can easily kill him now. All right, you're gonna move up and collect this loot, I believe. Or somebody is. Just because. Why not? Alright, go ahead and move up and... I guess this is fine. A lyrium core and an alien data cache. 50-50 chance. It's going to keep you in a bad place for cover, though. Alright, that's fine. Really, I'm taking these bad shots because I know we can get somebody up to flank him. I'm not really worried about about the misses in the grand scheme of things. And we could grenade him, too, if we wanted to. In fact, let's move you up a little bit more flanking. Well, everybody's missing. All right, you're going to be our, our guy that, or a girl, I should say, that moves up just to kill him once everybody else misses, apparently. Volk says I am to obey. They have a patrol moving here. Oh, another patrol, and it's a doozy of a patrol. So if you get revealed here, that is bad. So on that note, do I launch the other frag grenade? You know, I think I'm going to move over here. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to launch a frag grenade. I think i got to take this guy out. Fire in the hole. That'll only leave one frag grenade for that bigger group, but at least we don't have anything else 
around here. And you can safely move up to... Not really, actually. All right, we're just going to keep you right here. And actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to reload you. Give me a minute. Some of the fire guys? Yeah. Okay, so they found us on their turn. So that just means they're going to move. And we should be good. Ooh, they're going to call in reinforcements, huh? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We can deal with this. So you don't have any good shots. And let's see, anything we can do with the cover on these guys. Any way we can blow up both those guys' cover? That would be pretty nice. Piers, yes. Are you in a good spot, safe wise? No, you're not really. So, let's move you to a little bit more cover. I mean, that guy up there is going to be trouble. But let's move you somewhere where you got a little bit more cover. I guess there's technically more over here in case that guy comes down. Heading to that location. Where's the computer? It's right there. Let me spin this around, make sure I'm not about to blow up the computer. I think that'll blow up the wall, but I don't believe that's gonna blow up the computer. So I think this is safe. Get ready for a surprise. Right, so I didn't kill anybody, but I did clear out all of their cover. Right, so you have no ammo. So we reload you. Fortunately, we can only do a pistol watch from here. We can also throw some more grenades. Let's think about that. All right, still got you. Still got you. Only sixty-seven percent. Wow, that is not that great. It's like you are in high cover currently. That guy looks a little bit more scary, so let's let's take a shot on him. Although you do a lot of damage, how much does our um, this guy do? Only three to five. So you know what? We're gonna do it the other way around. Um, come back here. You're gonna move back into cover. Heading out. Take a shot on that guy. Really. Wow. That's just sad. Okay. I kind of want to take out the stun lancer. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. How far can we throw a smoke grenade? Not very far. Can't cover most of you guys, but I think if we put it in the line of sight, it. I could be wrong, but I thought if you put it on the side, it makes a difference. I may just want to stick it on these guys. Oh, I can't get them both. I honestly don't remember. I thought it, it made a difference between, like, something like that, where they can't see through it or see past it or something. All right, well, you can't do much anything else anyway, so we're going to try that. Could take one of these guys out, but I'm still concealed here. So, man, this is gonna be a rough turn. I can't believe those people missed with those 75s and stuff like that. I mean, we can still reconceal you if something bad happens, but you're not in a very good spot right now. Move you up here. But you're going to get spotted if we go up there. That's not what I wanted. Um, I mean, taking one of these almost guaranteed kills would be a really good idea, probably. But it just guarantees that she's going to take damage for sure, because they're all going to come on her. No, oh, I think we're going to hold off. Probably a bad idea, but let's try this.
Yay, more reinforcements. Missed. Wow. We are in fire damage, though. All right, let's start with our sniper. She's way back here. Let's see what kind of good shot she's got. Ugh, nothing like amazingly good. 72% is terrible. All right, we needed that one. We needed that one big time. All right. Um, disoriented. What does that do to you? Oh, there's the sit rep. Stealth insertion. Any mission times will not start until the squad breaks concealment. All right, that's pretty cool. So you have terrible shots right now. Is that presumably because of the smoke? Like we're smoking ourselves as well. Um... Which combat profile did more than just two damage? We can also flashbang this entire group. Or most of it. We flashbang those two guys. Not quite the guy back there. Oh, no, there we go. That'll get three guys. And I think we got to. Oh, it's not going to get that guy way back there, though. No, I think we need the shots. Save the flashbang for last. And you have nothing. Literally nothing. Neither do you. Man, these are terrible shots. I mean, I can move somewhere, but... <laughs> Nothing's going to give me much better shot. We gotta kill somebody. We gotta take somebody out. I'm afraid if we take that guy up on top, he's gonna explode and hurt us. Right, so there's at least a kill. We're definitely revealed. Alright. They're <laughs> such terrible shots. I'm tempted to just hunker down in Overwatch. Like, you might just hunker down entirely. Since you're behind weak cover. Or I could move you behind heavy cover. Alright, I think I'm going to hunker you down. You, I think I'm going to flashbang what I can. It's not going to be great, but it's better than nothing, probably. So I get those two guys up top. Flashbang. And then you, with your terrible whatever... You know, I think we're going to hunker you down, too. You're low on health. So these guys are disoriented. Man. Hunker down and everything. We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. What are you doing? Double moving? That was a little weird.
Ouch. This is really bad. The guy up there, I want to kill him, but I know he's going to explode. Come on, sharpshooter. Oh my goodness. Well, we're definitely going to lose this one. I really just wanted to kill him. Goodness. Panic removed. 71%. Do something. Do something good. That's not quite what I was looking for. I mean, you couldn't even got him within two, seriously, so I could mark, do this thing on him. Oh, goodness. Got a critical. Not enough. Really? Panicking? Can't really get anybody in position to pistol anybody, can I? Not really. I mean, either one of these guys could be pistoled. And we're going to lose the terminal anyway because this guy who I was going to move up here and get a range on this thing is is not available. got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. We're going to lose Dragonova. <laughs> this is frustrating. Well, we gotta bug out with who we got left, probably. I mean, this is ridiculously silly to do this, but... It's a little frustration. I mean, maybe if I take one of those early shots in the groups when... What's-her-name was over here. Maybe I could have done something good. Like killed those guys before these other sets came out, but I just don't know. Of course. Ah, it started so well. Was there anything that said that there was going to be reinforcements? Did I just miss that? Had to have missed the reinforcements uh, on, on something. So I can't call Sky Ranger right here. So I guess we'll call him. I don't know if it matters, but. Save at least one guy. I mean, it's just everything going for us on that one where, you know, you don't start the timer. Even when the timer started, we were right next to it. We had seven turns. Just some failed 70 plus percent shots, like over and over and over again. I don't know. It is what it is. 
Losing our Reaper is going to be tough. The early game, <laughs> the early game of this game is so ridiculously hard. So ridiculously hard. Just because, um, you just don't have anything. You have literally nothing. Kind of gets better towards middle game, usually. such as this affect not only your crew but the resistance as a whole commander we must do better if we have any hope of stopping the alien threat so we got a negative trait obsessive reloader all right interesting all righty well if I <laughs> anything else we're just making this even harder on ourselves, so if we find a way to come back from this, that'll be, I guess, all the more awesome. More explosives, huh? Uh, I guess we'll go pick up a scientist. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. So we did increase shotguns damage, so... Factions have identified additional operations to benefit the resistance. We should meet in the resistance ring to examine the proposals. The awesome. The benefits we gain from working with the resistance factions on their covert operations are a major boon to our efforts. But there are also risks involved. Our soldiers could potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field. So it's not as easy a decision as it may seem. The Chosen are constantly trying to subvert our operations, so any soldiers we send will be at risk. We can remove some of the dangers with additional support units or resources. Okay, so I see this now. These risks and things. So maybe the first one we send on was just a freebie. We should have sent it on the Bradle Mox one then. Good to know. Things that you would do differently if you knew how the game actually worked to begin with. Um, soldier wounded low, ambush moderate. I mean, I'd like to get Pradle Mox, especially since we lost uh, our um, Reaper. Spend 25 intel to negate the ambush. Now oh, that looks good. It's just going to give us ability points, though, which is not like not, not necessarily amazing. No, I think the Pradle Mox one... Oh, no, we can negate ambush here, too. No, let's, let's got to get Pradle Mox. So, do we need a sergeant? No, we don't need anything... Specific soldier reward mobility plus one. That's kind of cool. Um, we've got a bunch of specialists. We don't actually have five people to send out on the next mission that we have. So, I'm tempted to just send a couple of these specialists. Uh, send our grenadier, and we'll send one of the specialists with her. I don't know if it really matters. Commander, at this point, we've committed so many of our soldiers to conducting covert actions that we're running low on manpower for our own tactical operations. We'll need to recruit new forces if we're going to keep this up. Nope, that's fine. Let's see if we can find us some uh, rookie somewhere and we'll go ahead and alligate here to remove that and there's a low risk of soldier being wounded Okay, I think I'm like that That is going to be fine I'll order my people to get underway immediately. So Can we go to where is it do we usually go to get rookies that gives us Intel the black market maybe Let's finish this off real quick so we at least got a scientist there. Let's go back over here and see what this does. Maybe there's a soldier that we can recruit there. Not really, nope. Black market. It's a cash. You just gain intel. 
All right, let's go to the black market then. Gotta get some more soldiers somewhere. Well, we could get an engineer if we had some stuff, some chosen information, get some supplies, alien alloys, could sell some stuff if we wanted to. I'm not really in a hurry to do that. So really, ah, we need some rookies. Hmm. All right, I guess there's nothing to do, but keep on doing what we're doing. I mean, can we make contact here yet? We can't yet, because we haven't actually researched the um, resistance communications, which is in progress. So once we get that, we'll be able to get that rolling. All right, so we did clear out some alien stuff. Uh, training center allows soldiers to establish stronger bonds with their fellow soldiers and purchase additional tactical abilities. Okay. Got a lab, the workshop, which I'm assuming is relatively normal. Infirmary would be really good. Um... The hyper vital module upgrade allows for temporary suspension of a soldier's health for the duration of any single combat. Okay, what? Well, that's interesting. And we can remove negative traits acquired in combat. Well, that's pretty cool. We do need some more power at some point, but that does not have to be our next thing. So I'm thinking either the training one or the infirmary. Ah, let's do the infirmary. <laughs> we gotta get our people back quicker. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. So we gotta go help and build that, which is good. And we are maxed out on power, so we'll probably put some power over here somewhere. If we can get down to this exposed power coil and put one there, that'd be amazing, but I don't know if we can wait that long. Alright, let's go back and get some more supplies. Or I guess suppose we could go let's go back and get some intel. Commander, the uh, the Avatar project. Progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Alright, let's go what am I looking for? Go back. I think we have one more rookie left. We can put in the Gorilla Tech Gorilla Tactic School. Yes. Uh, no, it's one second. Let's see. An armory. Oh, yeah, armory. All right, so we have two sharpshooters. We have plenty of specialists. We have two rangers and two grenadiers. I think another grenadier would be good. Just to be safe, because they're so, so good on these things. Oh, retaliation. Any who would aid in the defiance of the elders will suffer the same fate, Commander. Setting course for the Mexican Regional Draft. All right. Well, our next one will be Operation Sky Strike, and we do have five people available, but it's probably the last five people we have. So, oh my goodness, let's you know we're just we're just. We're, you know what? We're letting them get ahead so that we can have a more, you know, convincing come from behind. That's what it is. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching and uh, hopefully you join me again and see if we can get ourselves out of this hole. Thank you and goodbye.